Good morning, sir. Thank you for gracing our conference. Uh, I would like to ask you, according to you, in your opinion, what have been the key achievements in the area of tobacco control in the last 10 years? Uh, thank you, Dr. Rupsa, for this uh, so important question. A uh, concern you have raised, because right now we are standing in the 6th NC2H conference, a three-day conference which has been dedicated uh, to tobacco control. Uh, initiatives, policies, and future roadmap plan in the country. If we go by statistical analysis, we are observing that there has been awareness in the country regarding tobacco control. As per the GATS uh, 1 and GATS 2 survey, we have seen that the, all the indexes of smoke and smokeless tobacco they have reduced. But what we are seeing is there is, has been a shift of use of tobacco. People uh, who are using tobacco, they are youngsters. So the final outcome, because as a hazard of tobacco consumption, we are seeing early malignancies, or certain malignancy, particularly being an ENT surgeon, I'll be talking about oral cavity, oropharyngeal malignancies, they are increasing. So that is due to a shift probably. May there, may, there are multiple factors to it, but tobacco is one contributory factor to it. Government of India initiatives are commendable. We have a national policy. We have guidelines. We are have policies, penalties framed in the country that are also contributing. We are getting a great attention as a developing country from international agencies like WHO, uh, UNICEF, in the pediatric age group regarding tobacco. So this is, I think, country is doing excellent in the field of tobacco control. But as always said earlier, lots, lots needs to be done before we say that we are successful in tobacco control. Thank you very much.